French rolls with sautéed roast beef. Just fill French rolls with sautéed roast beef and onions. Then heat cheese whiz pasteurized processed cheese spread for a topping. Recipes begin with craft. My folks love these Liberty Bell steak sandwiches. Just fill French rolls with sautéed roast beef and onions. Then heat cheese whiz pasteurized processed cheese spread for a topping. It's a delicious blend of real cheeses and other fine ingredients. Here's a side dish I make in a snap. Manhattan vegetable sauté. Just sauté tomatoes, onions, and green peppers. Casino brand mozzarella cheese tops the vegetables for a mild cheese taste. Broil and serve. I put tangy New England taste into my salad with crisp apples. Kraft Real Mayonnaise makes it delicious. Nothing tastes creamier. Combined with cabbage, nuts, celery, raisins, and apples. Serve in a bowl lined with cabbage leaves. My chocolate chip cheesecake is ready to bake in only 15 minutes. Make it rich, creamy, and sinfully delicious with Philadelphia brand cream cheese. The recipe's on the package. Add chocolate chips, fill an easy crumb crust, and bake. These Kraft Regional American recipes are in tonight's listing section of TV Guide magazine and in recipe folders in many stores. Come back east, come on to the great taste of America with Kraft. And good evening. My name is David Copperfield, and I'm really excited because I have to start the show a very special guest to introduce to you. Webster. Oh, you remember. Webster was on our show last year, and since then, we found Webster has a unique talent that we never knew about. We found that Webster is a mind reading duck. <laughs> This is true, ladies and gentlemen. Webster has this unique ability to actually read people's minds. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Webster has placed a photograph of a famous person inside this envelope. This is his prediction. Actually, it's his <laughs> production. That's right. He's placed a photograph of a famous actor or actress inside this envelope, someone that he feels you are going to call out. Name a famous actor or actress. Go ahead. Perry Como. Who named Perry Como? No, sir, we have not met before. We haven't prearranged anything. Would you be amazed if Perry Como's photograph was inside this envelope? Would it make your day? <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. Perry Como, three months. <laughs> you think this is easy? <laughs> Yesterday, they shouted out Michael Jackson. <laughs> but I see there's still some skeptics in the audience, so we're going to have to prove to you that Webster is a mind-reading duck. somebody in the audience to help us with this. Here, would you mind helping me out? Give me your hand. Come right this way. Give her a big hand as she comes up here on stage. Hello. What is your name? Hey, Susan, you're very pretty. Susan Webster, Webster Susan. Give him a shake. <laughs> you ever shake hands with a duck before? You still haven't. That was his foot. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Susan. Susan, go like this. Do that to me. Do that some more. I like this, Susan. <laughs> Susan, do you have any pets at home? Yeah. What you got? Cat and a dog. Cat and a dog? Well, then you know there's three things you must have when you have a pet. Plenty of love, plenty of affection, and plenty of newspaper. <laughs> we use Webster's least favorite newspaper for that purpose. Midnight Star. A lot of great articles in the Midnight Star. How Liz lost 20 pounds in 14 days. She took off her jewelry. <laughs> Michael Jackson's Private Hell. I'm tired of being a macho stud. <laughs> this paper deserves to be under a duck, you know what I'm saying? We've got a deck of cards right here, Susan. Are they different? Mm -hmm. Yes, different. Susan, put your finger on a card. Touch one. That one, you can change your mind or stick with that one, whatever you like. One. You like that one? Keep your finger on it. I'm going to move it to the top. Ooh, <laughs> Webster likes your bracelet. Okay, face forward, you can let go over the card. Memorize it. Hold on to it. 
tight. Both hands. Hug it. Both hands. Hug it. You just made a playing card. Very happy. <laughs> Susan, face me. I'm not here to read your mind Webster's because Webster is a mind-reading duck. <laughs> Okay. Now, Susan, concentrate on your card. I want you to look Webster in the eyes. Webster, I want you to look Susan in the eyes and concentrate. <laughs> Those are her eyes, Webster. <laughs> concentrate on your card. <laughs> you didn't know this was going to be in 3D, did you, Susan? <laughs> got the card, Webster? He's got it. Into the box, Web. Into the box. Good. Now, Webster's going to deduct. <laughs> they get worse. <laughs> Susan's card by chewing up this little piece of newspaper. You did a very nice job, Webster. <laughs> Susan, you haven't let Webster uh, look at your card, have you? You've been holding it up against yourself. <laughs> Turn it around, show everybody the card. What is it, the five of diamonds? Let's see how Webster did. People ask me if there's anything that's magical to me. Well, when I see people who want something so badly, if they can make the impossible happen, well, that's magic. With my special guest, Peggy Fleming, we'd like to introduce you to two people who have an obstacle to overcome. Perhaps they will, with the magic of love. 